All right, so we've got happening here, and as you can see, we also have that leading zero situation happening there as well. Now, that's wonderful. We can go into the minute and we can fix that up as well. But what we're down to do instead is something quite a little bit different. We're going to put, we're going to put broadcast hands and do all the number digital manipulation happening in one spot. And we'll do that. We're going to make another variable and we'll call it uh, digital. Something like that, just so we can keep record of what's going on. So now we've got this visual called digital, which will also be a large readout. All right. And look a bit different than what's going on there at the moment. Now, in here, we'll go when I receive hands. Okay. And then we'll do all our stuff here. So let's go over here for a minute. Let's keep that, put that in there. All right. Mm-hmm and put leave that one we're going to change in a minute but right now we'll just plonk that over there put this get and put that back okay so where were we second what did i just take over there i took the second so this can all go all right and that can go as long as it went over checking yes it did so that goes down there like that and so, second, minute, get rid of that, an hour, keep that, put that all over there as well, and just make, whoops, just make sure we got it, oh, see how that does wonderful thing, so we put that there like so, alright, okay, now, the hour can go, alright, and leave that there, so all we're doing with the three hands is just worrying about making sure the time's displayed, and we've got everything sitting over here like this, and it's ticking away there, okay? And what we could do is we've got, if the second is less than 10, and then we can also do this, so duplicate, set minute to current minute. If the minute is less than 10, set the minute to join minute like that. And then put that back in there like so. And then what of course happens is if I do this, right, it's sitting there doing nothing. And the reason for that is you've got to have it doing what everything else is doing. So you need that right around the outside. Okay. And ticking away. And let's see what we've got happening here. All right, let's just redo it. Right, that's more like it. See, it's ticking over. And if you look at the clock, it's 5 past 3, 50 second, 51, 52. So it's doing what you want it to do, which is wonderful. So you've got second, minute, 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 and, and you can get all things happening here. So you can do that. Now, the other thing you can do is this. You can create another display, digital display, and I'll do them both for the moment, all right, just to show you what's happening here. So my time is going to be, or digital, I beg your pardon, my digital is going to be, and I could do this probably from the current hour and just leave second minute hour out, but I won't. I'll do it in stages. So set the digital, and what we want to do is we want to do this. We're going to do a bunch of joins. So a join and a join I'm not sure how many joins but we'll get there and a join and a join we'll do it bit by bit so if we're starting over here our first join is going to be the hour and our second join will make a space and a colon and a space and our third join will be the minute all right and our fourth this one will be a space and a colon and a space and this one will be the second okay like that and we set that to there and just to show you i'll just give a bit of space we're putting that in there like that all right let's have a look i might just pop this down here so we can keep working on it put that here like that right 
Now, let's just see what we've got here. Right. Ooh. So it's just ticking over there. And this is our single digital display here. So I'll just turn these off. And we can do that. All right. So that's that. Now the other thing we can do also is this. We can do another if statement to um, add a bit to the end of it. All right. So let's... At the moment it's 3, 15, and it's in the afternoon, so it's p.m. So what we need is another if statement, and that if statement will say if the hour, I'll just do it over here for a minute, we've got, if the hour is less than 12, do that, etc., etc., etc. But if the hour here is... It's, sorry, it's an actual if else. If, right, if the current hour, I won't copy, I'll probably lose it. So if the current hour, right, is greater than 12, right, then what we do is we will few ways we can do this um, oh, I'll make another variable we'll just call it AM PM for one of a better thing so there's AM PM and that can just be there sitting there at the moment and if the current hour is greater than 12 then set uh, to PM else set it to AM Right, and if I put that in there like that, you can see what's going on up there. The it's picking it up, so we can do that. But we can also, I mean, we could do this, and we could just plonk it beside it like that if you want. That's one way of doing it. So 3:10:03 p.m. We can do it like that, or if you want, you can join it there and make it one big happy digital readout. I'll let you do that. 